Hey, y'all, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be making cast iron shrimp and crab pizza. Yes, it's good with chicken if you're allergic. Don't worry. And you can just turn it into a veggie pizza, too, if you don't eat meat or seafood. Let's get to it, y'all. So I'm going to start with my large cast iron skillet here. I'm going to use a cast iron skillet because I want crispy bottom and top in my pizza. Yes, honey. So we're going to use a 12-inch skillet here. Then I'm going to use my pre-made pizza crust. Life is already too complicated. Food ain't got to be. You know how we do it on this channel. We keep it easy peasy. So you just want to roll your crust out. Don't use the uh, pre-baked piece of crust, but you do want to use the pre-made dough, okay? So we're just going to roll that out and get that nice and flat, okay? Make sure you kind of pull the edges up so that the edges cook and they won't be doughy, all right? So just uh, spread it out like, just, like I just did right there, y'all. And then what I'm going to do is make a garlic butter pizza crust. So I'm going to just take some melted butter here, okay, and get my little brush. I got a food brush or pastry brush. Don't be using no toothbrush out there with y'all crazy self. Don't use no toothbrush. You can do this with a spoon if you don't have a brush. Just make sure you're just brushing the pizza with the melted butter and then we are just going to season it with garlic powder and then we're going to also add a little bit of adobo. Yes, I love me some adobo, honey. It's real good on this crust. So just put your little adobo on there. If you don't have that, I will list some substitutions in the uh, description box. Don't worry. And then we're going to just add some Italian seasoning on there. Now we're going to pre-bake this crust because it's not going to take us long to cook the toppings, okay? So we want to make sure that the crust is already done if we can, okay? We don't want to overcook the crust and we don't want to um, overcook the toppings because it is seafood. We're going to bake this on 500 for five to six minutes. Um, and then we're going to take it out and then top it. While that is baking, we're going to start on our sauce. So I put some heavy cream in my pan. going to bring that to a boil there for about two minutes, okay? So we're going to bring that to a boil for about two minutes. Work with some heavy cream there. Once it kind of starts boiling, you want to reduce the heat down until it thickens up just like this right here, okay? When it thickens up, you want to reduce the heat to medium low, and we're going to add our lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice, you just need the juice of one lemon, really. And then we're going to add some bouillon up in there, huh? make it sopped up, okay? Chicken bouillon flavor, because I don't want to use no chicken sauce because it's going to make the sauce too runny. We don't need that, but we do want that rich flavor that bouillon give us. So we're going to add that uh, bouillon powder to that. I also found some seafood bouillon. I used that up in here, and it was good, okay? But if you ain't got that, that's okay. Just use what you got, honey, to get what you want, all right? And so I'm going to add in my my seafood bouillon and a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Be sure to do this in increments, small increments, y'all, because you can always add, but what? You can't take away. Okay, so make sure you taste as you go. Then I'm going to add in a little bit of Italian seasoning, and we're going to just stir that up just like that. This sauce is real good, y'all. This sauce yeah, this sauce is bomb, and it's looking really, really good. Now we're just going to add a little bit of Parmesan to the sauce, okay? Then we're just going to stir that around in there, get that nice and sopped up, okay? Just want to melt the cheese just a little bit, okay? And the Parmesan, just give it a little bit of tang with that lemon juice. Make your mouth pop and your neck snap. Uh -huh. Okay, so now you see that it's done. We're going to sit that to the side. Moving along to our shrimp. I'm using some frozen shrimp that I just thawed out and I just peeled. And they were already deveined, okay? You want to season them just a little bit with some Cajun seasoning or your seasoning of choice. Just make sure they season, okay? And what I want you to do before you do this, though, is remove the moisture from the shrimp, y'all. That's very important because if you don't uh, squeeze the water out or remove the moisture, you're going to have water in your pizza, Okay. Don't nobody want that. You know what they're going to do. You know. Go on, say it. Talk about you in the group chat. Oh, we don't need that. So now our shrimp is seasoned. I'm going to go ahead and put the pizza together. So I've got that pizza dough that we uh, part baked. And we're going to take it out. And then we're just going to put the sauce on there. Now, don't do this. This is why I, I, I was trying to. You know, do like they do up in Papa John's, some use that little ladle and sort of, uh uh, baby. It did not work. As you can see, I'm going to go and do what I know. Go and pour that sauce on over there, baby. We ain't got time, okay? And I'm gonna use a regular spoon. I was looking at this little ladle, I was like, uh uh, baby, this ain't doing it for me. This is taking too much, okay? I just switched on over to a regular spoon, okay? Use what you got, honey, and then just uh, swirl the sauce all around. Yeah, see, the spoon is better because you can get up in the creases and the crevices. You see what I'm saying? Just make sure you get your sauce all up in there, honey, okay? Swirl it around. Take your time. Uh, if you want a, a lot of sauce, then, yeah, use as much as you want. But I would suggest using a whole, whole lot. But this recipe for the sauce, pretty much, I pretty much used all of it except for about two tablespoons. So you can you can use all the sauce if you want. I'm going to add some green onion to mine because the green onion was actually so good. I actually makes this pizza a lot, y'all. But green onion on this is really, really good. If you don't like green onion, you don't have to add it. But I suggest you do add it because it's delicious on this. Just give it a little bit of some sauce. I don't know, okay, but I likes it. So I'm going to add in some crab meat. I'm not using lump crab because 
Um, that can get real expensive. You can use claw meat if you want to. Or if you don't want to use any type of crab meat, you don't have to. You can use like chopped up lobster or whatever, you know. But I did use just regular crab meat. I'm using the... Um, the crab meat blend that they sell in the store, okay? It was like $9. Okay, then I'm going to add in my mozzarella, okay, cheese. Now, you can use whatever cheese you want to use at this point, okay? I'm going to add then that five blend Italian cheese they have in the store, okay? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm going to add that up in there. We're going to add our mozzarella, okay? Now, I'm going to add um, my shrimp on top of there. I'm going to use all my shrimp. This is why we're using bite-sized shrimp, y'all, okay? These shrimp are going to shrink. They look a little big right now, but they're going to shrink down medium-sized shrimp. Um, Shrimp do shrink, or shrimp in general just shrink when you cook them anyway. But these are going to shrink down. They're going to be the perfect size for each bite on this pizza, y'all. Trust me, okay? Don't be using them salad shrimps now, okay? No, don't do that, baby. They ain't going to be soft. Up. Use some medium-sized shrimp and just put them on top, okay? Just like I'm doing. Then I'm going to finish it off with that Italian cheese blend, all right? Ain't no shame my game. Yes, I am using the pre-packaged stuff. It's good to sell, okay? I don't care what nobody said out there. We're going to use it, okay? So I'm going to put that cheese on top of there. Just like that, I already have my oven uh, preheated to 500 degrees. Preheat your oven to the highest temp it will go, okay? So if it's only 475, put it on 475. If it's 500, put it on 500. I just sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning on top of there, and then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Old Bay. Yep, can't have a little seafood without a little Old Bay, shawty. Got to have a little Old Bay, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Old Bay on there. Be careful with that because you know you don't want it to be too salty. Don't want it to be coughing. Corona going around when you know nobody looking at you, okay? Just because you overseas your food. We're going to add a little bit of parsley. This is optional. Okay, you don't have to add that if you don't want to. I use fresh parsley, but you can use dry parsley if you got it because it make it look pretty. Okay, we're going to bake this for 10 to 13 minutes, y'all, on my 500 degree oven. 10 to 13 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. And as you can see, look how it look when it come out, y'all. Look at that. And cooking it in a cast iron is amazing, y'all, because let me tell you, you're going to have crispy bottom. But you're also going to have crispy edges, as you can see. Baby, them edges on that pizza is snatch, baby. Snatch worse than them lace fronts be snatching y'all's. Huh? Look at them edges on that pizza, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look, look. Baby, look at that. Look at them shrimp, baby. Them shrimp about to pop up in your mouth, baby. <clears throat> Y'all ain't ready, let's do it, okay? Gonna let this cool off for about two to three minutes just so it won't burn your hand. And then you can just sprinkle it with a little bit more parsley if you want to and some lemon juice. Squeeze a little lemon on there if you want to. That's optional. You don't have to, but I want to take cute pictures of Instagram so you know how I do over here. And then we're just gonna cut it into pieces, okay? If you are um, vegetarian, you can just do a veggie pizza instead of the uh, shrimp and the crab. If you are allergic to seafood, you can use rotisserie chicken. Just chop that up on top. Of there, so good, but look at that, y'all. Look at that, ha! baby. That is so sopped up. Look at that, y'all. This pizza is so good. I pair it with a Caesar salad, and it is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to share more recipes with you guys. Be sure you stay safe out there. Wash your hands, wash your bodies, and say a long prayer. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.